can tell you that I've labored long and hard uh, to uh, to get this. Um, uh, not so much through Ottawa because we've had um, you know great support there, Minister. So he's been a real champion. But uh, you know it has been difficult for the province in this economic environment. But I think they're persuaded, uh, from what I can understand, by the fact that this will create you know six thousand construction jobs, which we badly need right now. We're going to secure good pricing, uh, and it's going to mean you know an improvement to. Uh, the trade corridors in our part of the city that uh, uh, that rely on a smooth functioning and safe yellowhead. So I think it's a it's a great uh, news that the province has has signed off. Now we'll look forward to um, completing the process with federal approval. Yeah, some of the most dangerous intersections in the city are um, along the yellowhead, and they're they're intersections that are going to get addressed uh, through these upgrades. And uh, <clears throat> that represents obviously a disruption to business, um, a disruption to the commuters, and obviously for people who are involved in these accidents, um, you know, real disruption for them and their families, uh, you know, cost, uh, uh, lost opportunity, uh, and, and unnecessary interaction with the healthcare system too, because uh, you know, some of these accidents are, are preventable if we had uh, the engineering solutions and the, and the better facilities built. And when now, you know, it's still going to take many years to actually complete this project, but but uh, we'll be able to look forward to a much safer Yellowhead corridor in the years to come, and that'll mean smoother flowing traffic and, and less accidents and less injuries, which is good for everyone.